okay. A little bit on the weird side. Oh my god. She's got a TV. Unbelievable. Oh, what's with the girl in the water? Uh, who is this? Oh, hello there. Hi, folks, and welcome to the world famous Luau Show, where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentle fish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. All right, amaze me. Bebop Spidoo. Okay. Rosie, it's nice that you can enjoy the show with us. Thanks. Well, I'm glad you enjoy the show. Okay, we got some weird stuff going on here. I swear we do. Oh my god, I remember now. Oh, it just came back to me. I think we, we have to do something with the hat for here. Like there's a hat that we have to like, like something to do with an egg. Like he doesn't want like an egg on a hat, so he like, he told you he had a feather from the bird or something. But I don't know if, I don't know, because the bird didn't give us a feather. There's a feather- wait. Pierre, where did you learn to sew? So what? So. So what? Uh, never mind. See, I thought that we had to do something about like this hat. But... I guess not. Alright then, I guess let's figure out what else we need to do. Okay, so who do we give the purple this sea urchin to? We've done the seahorse, the purple, we've done the clerk, him. Oh, let's try the pelican. I don't think we- did we try it on him when we went up there last time? Oh, let me see. Alright, does he want this? Oh, it's a good time. How would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an orange Oh my god, a foreign language! Oh, I know what we have to do with this. Thanks a lot, Sam. Go to that freaking seahorse who speaks you. gibberish. That's exactly what we have to do. I know it. And if that doesn't work, then I don't know what to do. Alright, he's this way, okay. Although, how are we looking at a book underwater? I mean, aren't the pages getting all soggy? Ready? I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find a language he's speaking in this foreign language place. Yes, do that. Oh. Oh, wait, can we flip through more pages? Oh. May we please have the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? I guess I'll have to go back 
guess that wasn't his language. Oh, here we go. There we go. No, none of those. None of those. Here we go. What's the difference between these? Oh, that's got a star. Okay, this one. May we please have the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? So, the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feather so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Oh, that was rude. Did you just have something happen to Thank you, Mr. Feather, sir. Aha! So that's what we have to use to keep the clan open. Alright, let's go get that third con shell, baby. Alright, there we go. Couldn't get the button to work, but it worked finally. Alright, here we go. Let's open this sucker up. A shim sham jimity jam clapper gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Careful when you place it, Freddy. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Right oh, Freddy! Yikes! Oh, that probably didn't taste too good. I got a golden pipe! Oh, yeah! I don't baby. care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. That's dang right, we are. can pick up the bad guy's scent. Oh, I see! The doll's gonna pick up the scent. Here you go, boy. Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. Where was this? Oh crap, we need a key. I was just looking at that. A jewel! I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Uh-oh. Hey! Oh my happened? god, really? I, I saw this jewel and, and then I took it out and the door closed and I don't... Just put the jewel back, Clover. Oops. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. Alright, we gotta get out of this temple now. Temple escape is my job. Oh, I remember this. Kind of. Oh, that's a gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. Alright, we gotta break it loose. Alright, we got a blue room here. There's a blue crystal. Oh, it's beautiful blue. Hmm, okay. If only What's I this way? Here, Freddy, let's see this. Come on, Gosh, man. This crystal is stuck on tighter than a barnacle on a breakwater. 
Can we not go that way? Oh, we can't go that way. Uh, let's go this way. It's from here. Nothing? Nothing at all. Okay then. Let's go back this way. Let's go through the green room, I guess. Oh, that looks... suspicious. Aha! What is this? It's a chisel. I should hold oh, on to that. It might come in handy. Alright, I guess we get the things out with that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a cool looking statue, baby! Get it out of there, Freddy. You got this, buddy. Oh, nice one, bro. Hey, the crystal grew back. Alright, time to go get the blue crystal now. Well, let's get the red one first, I guess. Since it's right here. Yeah, we're getting out of this place. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. Oh, heard a crack. There we go, baby. Come in very handy indeed. Oh, I guess it's because we like cut it off, so that's why it goes back. Maybe it's like the other half, I guess. I don't know. All right, now we gotta go get that blue one. All right, let's. Chisel lit this blue crystal. Wow, look at the light from this blue crystal. It gives off such a big light. That could come in handy. Alright, we got the blue curtain, we got all three. Alright, let's go back to Luther. Oh, wait, let's go to one of these rooms, actually. Oh, wait, I see. This crystal looks like it will fit here. Aha, I see. I got it. Also, oh, we did we not need those crystals? I guess we didn't. Doesn't matter though. Still prison escape is experts. Now, let's get you out of here, buddy. Time for a midnight scene. I here came too for this. Disappointed my old silver-haired granny will be. If not snapshot, I bring back from festival. Pshaw. If Pierre was in charge, this would never have happened. It's all Uncle Flanny's fault. I'm gonna give that bum a piece of my mind. Please help me! Stop! Uncle Flanny is innocent! <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. 
When we looked inside, we found this microphone, which means the thief is... Oh, did we choose? Based on what we found in the bag, I think the thief is... I guess her. Rosie Pearl, you're the thief. Ah, that could have been anybody's microphone in that bag. You ain't got nothing on me. Oh, no? Okay, so maybe you do have something on me. I confess. The Great Conch Shell is a real crowd pleaser. I figured I could have a full house every night if I used it in my show. Maybe, but stealing the conch made everyone else unhappy. It's selfish to do something you want when it hurts other people. Uh -huh. And it's so either we could have chosen anybody, I guess it or it really was her. Class entertainer. I am sorry. Here it is. The Great Conch Shell. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. Oh, and old Shoggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand, exalted keeper of the conch. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Rosie was convicted of violating Penal Code 682 for wrongful conchnapping. She was sentenced to 4,231 hours of public service helping humor impaired fish to be funny. Case closed. Ta-da! Alright guys! Well, thank you for watching one of my favorite childhood games, and look forward to another Freddy Fish game or something else uh, that I have in mind, but there's also another one that I want to play, so look forward to that in the future, and many other videos that I do on my channel, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it, but until next time, have a good day, guys.